Hey guys, I decided to do one more of these tonight, and we're going to rate Need for Speed games, because I've played pretty much all of them, in one capacity or another. But I want to say real quick, 98% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. I looked at my analytics finally, and out of curiosity, and I want to say I want to get to 5,000 this year. We're at 4,200. I think 800 more subscribers isn't going to be very difficult, especially if I'm going to force myself to make some content. But I have a lot of ideas in the pipeline. It shouldn't be very difficult. Let's just get started on the tier list. Need for Speed games. They kind of fueled my love of racing. Yes, Midnight Club 3 was one of the games I spent the most on on my PS2. But in all reality, Need for Speed was always what I went back to. So let's get started. We're going to start with... Um, Road and Tracks Need for Speed, because we're gonna I'm gonna try my best to go in order. Road and Tracks Need for Speed. Considering the time it came out and the lack of technology, it was still a fantastic game. And I actually would go back today and play it again just to beat it and well and enjoy it. It was a fun game, you know. It started this need for speed thing that we have here and I enjoyed it so you know I'm putting it as very good what was after that where's need for speed 2 on this little sheet I don't see need for speed 2 now that I'm looking for it interesting need for speed 2 doesn't seem to oh whatever I'm gonna guess that it was Porsche Unleashed it was an okay game there was nothing really that special about Porsche Unleashed. I played it, I think my grandparents rented it for me one time when I stayed at their house for a week when my parents were out of town. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Uh, there were a lot of good laughs between me and my grandpa trying to play multiplayer. It was fun. Honestly, I'm not going to try to go in order. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Anyway, Need for Speed 3. This was also an okay game. It was the first of the Hot Pursuits. That introduced like the cops and all that. It was okay, but I didn't really enjoy it as much as I enjoyed Hot Pursuit 2. I still play this game to this day. I have it for the PS2 emulator because specifically the PS2 version is the greatest version of it. The PC version, they dumbed down the graphics. Xbox version, they did the same thing. And some of the 3D maps are actually different from the PS2 version. So one that I can think of right off the top of my head very easily is Palm City Island. There's a couple 3D models on that track and parts of the track that are different from the Xbox and PC release. And there's a couple glitches you can actually do in the PS2 variant that you can't do on Xbox and PC. And for me, that alone, is why I enjoy the PS2 version more. And also it seems to look the best on PS2. But, uh, yeah. So, oh, Need for Speed 2. I know I played it, like, once. But I'm gonna say that I didn't play it enough to have a judgment. So that's okay. Nitro and Nitro X... Uh, uh -uh. not good games not good games the run this is actually close to one of my favorite need for speeds the run i really enjoyed this game i went start to finish through the entire game i enjoyed it i don't enjoy cutscenes and like button specific button presses to get through a cutscene and all that just let me race but overall the game was actually fantastic Carbon Own the City. Great game. I don't honestly know what the difference between the Own the City version is and just regular Carbon. But in all reality, the Carbon's, Carbon games were fantastic. I just don't remember the difference. Motor City. I don't think I played that one. I've seen it, Motor City Online, 
I've seen it. I think it was an online thing only in like the 90s and early 2000s. I never got to play it. It was around the same time as like Nitto 1320 Challenge. I never played it, so whatever. Payback. I didn't like it. I didn't like the car handling. I didn't like just the physics and overall gameplay. It was just eh. It was an eh game. Shift. Not my style of Need for Speed. Same with Shift 2. Just not my style of game. I don't like those style games. World. Um, I'm going to say very good. I don't like racing with power-up items in a Need for Speed-esque game. I don't think they belong in a Need for Speed game. But other than that, the fact that they combined two major maps from two major games into one map and then released it as an online multiplayer game, and people actually went back and reverse engineered it and made a new server for it. Awesome. Honestly, awesome. Um, Need for Speed Rivals. Again, didn't like the car handling and all that, so it just, that kills it enough for me on a racing game. If I can't like how the cars feel, I am not going to enjoy the game as a whole. Undercover. This one gets hated a lot. I'm going to put it at average. I played it. I enjoyed it. But it wasn't great. It was kind of like a carbon during the day, from what I remember. But I just didn't enjoy it. Oh, I got to go with Pro Street as the best. One of the best games. I love Pro Street. I go back and play it on nearly every computer. It's installed on every computer I own. Uh, with all the same mods. I enjoy Need for Speed Pro Street. I always remove the 250 mile per hour limit on cars. It's just a fantastic game. I don't know why they limited cars to 250 miles an hour. It's dumb, frankly. But it's a fantastic game. I don't care what anybody says. Hot Pursuit. The best. This is the best Hot Pursuit game. If it's ever on the far left side, it usually means it's the best of the best of that section. I very much enjoy Hot Pursuit. I still play it to this day. I still go for my best times using the shortcut on Seacrest Tour. It's just a great game. Now, I say that about Hot Pursuit. There was no reason to make a remaster. I said what I said. Just like Burnout Paradise, there was no reason to make a remaster except to add an anti-cheat. Uh, Duevo, I think is what they added or whatever it's called, which is a kernel level anti-cheat to see everything going on on your computer. No game should have that level of access to your computer. And on top of that, the remastered graphics don't look much better than if you just added ENV series to Hot Pursuit. It was a cash grab and a way to add an anti-cheat when there didn't used to be one. That's all it was. And Duevo sucks. It uses so much system resource that while this game should be playable on the same computers as this because not much changed, you can't run it on the same computers as this simply because of the anti-cheat. The anti-cheat is garbage. Garbage. Never played No Limits. I think that's the phone game. I've seen it. I know people that mod it. I don't play it. Need for Speed Edge. I have the files for it. I don't know how to play it. So, whatever. Need for Speed. Haven't played it. I want to. Need for Speed Heat. Eh. I enjoyed it for like a week straight, but it was just very repetitive. So I didn't enjoy it very much. High stakes. Very good game. I enjoy the arcade -y, just race, 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 and that's it. Underground Rivals. Never played it. V-Rally. Great game if you are into that style of racing game. Once in a while, I very much enjoy that style of racing game, even though most of the time I enjoy more stuff like this. V-Rally and V-Rally 2. Both fantastic games that I very much enjoyed. Most Wanted. This game gets a lot of heat as well. It was not the Most Wanted that people wanted. See what I did there? I still enjoyed the game. I still very much want to go back and play it again. 
but there's other games that I would play before I would play it again. Let's put it that way. So, yeah, it's it gets an average. Most wanted. Honestly, one of the best. Pro Street's definitely better than Most Wanted, but Most Wanted is like the low end of the best. There's a lot of mod support, which for me in gaming, it just extends the life of playability. And overall, just one of the greatest games that they ever made. There's no issues with the car handling. It feels okay. The cars feel a little bit heavy, like the gravity is too strong. But other than that, it's a great feeling game overall. Underground? I didn't like it. I did not like Underground 1. It just... I mean, I'm sure part of it is just the age of the game, but like, I didn't, I didn't like it. Underground 2 was my underground for most people. People say Underground is, oh, it was the best Need for Speed. No, for me, Underground 2 was the best Need for Speed of the Underground games. Well, that one was really short. But honestly, I want to keep these videos around 15 to 20 minutes anyway. But 11 minutes, easy to digest video. So, like I said, only 98% of people watch my videos. Somebody freaking subscribe, please. There's going to be a lot more tech videos. I'm kind of doing these tier list videos to get back into the swing of recording. If you have ideas for tier lists that you want me to do, the if you leave a link to the specific tier list, it will show up in my YouTube dashboard, but it won't show up uh, publicly if you tried to post it. I will have to approve the post because there's a URL in the comment, but I can do any that people suggest. I'm open for suggestions. I like tier lists, and you know it might be really cool to do one of these with uh, with friends over like a Discord call too. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.